I don't feel like she's mine enough. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Kobe One Pro Tro 81 point game. This is going to be an early review. These sneakers are set to release on January 22nd, which will be the 13 year anniversary of Kobe Bryant dropping 81 points in the game. So with that said, here the sneakers are. I'm going to be giving you an in-depth review of the sneakers as well as the box and everything like that. So let's get right into it. All right, taking a closer look at these Kobe One Pro Tros, the first thing I'll start off with is the box of the sneaker. So we have an all black box, the Kobe logo on the top. And then getting into the size label, this is a size 10. It says Kobe One Pro Tro, official colorway, white, black, varsity, purple. And a suggested retail for this sneaker is 175 US dollars. Inside of the box is nothing special, just some white paper. I think it would have been cool if they did something a little bit more with the box. You guys know I love like special edition boxes. All right, with the box out of the way, let's get right into the shoes. Overall, they're a really, really clean pair of shoes. You can actually wear them off court and on court. They look good both ways. Although it looks really clean, I think this is more of a collector's item. And a lot of Kobe fans have been waiting for the shoe to drop for about 13 years now. It's actually pretty much the same exact shoe he wore in the 81 point game. To get right into a little breakdown of it. So the first thing I'll talk about is this black Nike swoosh on the white leather. So the black Nike swoosh goes all throughout the sneaker, ending at the medial side. And then there's a transition between the leather on this side and the medial side. So you guys will see, this is just smooth leather right here on this part of the sneaker. And then on the toe area, but on the toe cap, and the medial side of the sneaker, we have like this snake skin like leather going throughout it. So I think that's really cool. And of course, Kobe the Mamba, so it matches, looks really cool. Another one of my favorite parts of the sneaker is this carbon fiber that goes all throughout the sneaker pretty much. So it starts right here and goes all the way throughout onto the other side. It looks really, really cool. Gives the sneaker a premium feel, definitely. Another sick part of the sneaker is the outsole. So I have a predominantly purple outsole with a little bit of black hit here and a hit of white here. And it says Zoom Air. And then once again, on the Nike swoosh here, we have the same carbon fiber we saw on the upper of the sneaker. Taking a look at the tongue of the sneaker. First, we have a yellow Nike swoosh on the bottom. And then we have a star here. And at the top, we have Kobe's logo on a leather patch. And on the sock liner, we have a completely purple sock liner going all throughout. Really nice. And then right under that, it says up tempo in yellow and gold over the black leather. Once again, Laker colors looks really sick. One thing I'm disappointed by on the sneakers that didn't come with any extra pair of laces. It's just these white laces that come on it. However, they do look really cool with the sneaker. I would like some black or purple laces to go along with these. I think it look really, really nice. Lastly, getting into the insole of the sneaker, we have some names of cities. So Houston, LA, Atlanta, and then keeps going down. Same on this pair. So Houston, Denver, LA, Atlanta. So, I mean, definitely if you pay attention to the details, it's a really, really nice sneaker. Once again, I do think this is more of a collector's item than an actual shoe to like, you know, flex in or anything like that. But... Also, I like the Kobe ones for hooping too. If you guys play basketball on them, they're actually a really good performance shoe in my opinion. And definitely, I mean, Kobe dropped 81 of these. So if you want to go out and drop like, you know, 81 yourself, a good sneaker to do it in. <laughs> and yeah, overall, really clean pair of sneakers. I'm going to show you guys a 360 view of them one last time. This has to be one of my favorite Kobe one pro tros to date. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that review of the Kobe One Pro Tro 81 point games. Once again, I got these a few days early from Nike. They're set to release on January 2nd on Nike and some other retailers. So keep an eye out for that if you want them. Right now, they aren't going for that much over retail on StockX. So if you want a pair right now, you can go ahead and buy it. Really clean pair of sneakers. Glad they retro these after a pretty long time. Glad I picked them up. With that said, if you guys liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more. And stay tuned. Until next time.